My name is Bruce Norville. I'm a member of the financial advisory team to the Scottish Parliament, uh, appointed by Shona Robertson, um, Secretary of State for Health in Scotland. I have some significant concerns from my meeting yesterday. Um, the attempt to establish this false narrative of no blame, no fault, you can go after us in the courts if you want, is quite frankly appalling and something that I'm no longer willing to be quiet about. Crimes have been committed. Penrose notes them, he just doesn't say anything about them. I would suggest that as a public servant he's done exactly what he was asked to do, which is find no blame. To report. If you read it, there's human rights violations. If you read it, there's criminal acts. He doesn't say anything about it, he doesn't say what to do about it, he doesn't say the government should act on it. So instead of getting a settlement which we should get, which is based on the incompetence and the mismanagement of the blood supply, the corruption that surrounded the self-interest of those that destroyed documents, which should lead to significant support to victims, their families and the bereaved, we're going to end up with what I would describe as another more please begging bowl settlement and the only thing between us and that is one a full Penrose debate any MP and MSP or Welsh Assembly member that has the courage to stand in front of me and learn about what is really wrong with what happened really scandalous about the mass murder that was blood products I'll brief you up I'll tell you why that what's happening now is nothing more than an extension of this disgrace. I need people to have the courage. There will be links on this video, there will be places where you can send it, I'd like you to share it. What we need is Joe Public to give a shit. We need them to care about the contaminated blood scandal before it's too late. Two thirds are dead, there's no many left, we need to get loud. We've only got weeks left. Thank you very much for listening.